are now days away from the July 4th holiday, and many of us enjoy fireworks shows, but the festivities can make animals so anxious and afraid. It's really one of the oh. worst parts of this holiday. Yeah, it's an understatement for sure. And joining us now is Agnes Sibyl von Dubschitz with the LA Animal Services. Did I say that okay, your name? It is. Okay, yes. good. I'm like, <laughs> say it fast and we're okay. Well, thanks for joining us. You're here to talk about how to keep our furry friends safe this holiday weekend. And, you know, let's start out talking a little bit about just why pets can just be so sensitive to fireworks. Well, you know, the, a lot of times a lot of loud, loud noises and also the bright lights from the fireworks will really frighten a lot of animals. And 4th of July is actually one of the busiest times for our LA Animal Services Centers because a lot of dogs do escape their homes because they hear the loud noises, um, they see the bright lights, and, you know, they just escape. And so what we're really encouraging people to do is, you know, make sure, one, just make sure your pets are microchipped or wearing a city dog license so that if you're a pet and you do get separated, then you'll be able to be reunited um, with your with your furry friend and we know that fireworks are illegal in the city of LA so even though your um, your pet is not afraid of fireworks or the loud noises um, you know sometimes the fireworks can also be harmful to them if they get you know if they ingest it or you know the days after fireworks there's debris on the on the streets if they ingest that can be harmful for them so it's really um, you know keep away from fireworks but to you know one of the things that we ask people to do is um, if you keep your pet inside the home which is probably the best way to keep your pet safe is make sure they have a you know a comfortable place for them to feel safe like either a confined a room a specific room in the house or a crate with their favorite toy or blanket and then playing some soft music as well or, or else even turning on the TV with some familiar um, you know background noise for them is also one way to be able to help your pet. Yeah, music, and I've also heard of people turning on the television, and they, I've seen these weighted um, vest type things. Mm. Do you recommend those as well? What are some other tips to help reduce animals' anxiety as these fireworks go off? Yeah, I think a lot of it is really just making sure they have a safe place to go. Um, many times for pets, there is usually a very comfortable or safe place for them in their home. Um, I know for my dog, he really likes going to his crate when you know he's too, there's too many activities. So even when you have guests coming over, there should be a place where your guests aren't allowed because sometimes you know too much festivities. Um, your dog just wants to be by themselves and they just want you know that quiet space for themselves. So really just ensuring that there's a place for your um, pet, even for your rabbit, you know. If you've got rabbits, make sure there's extra hidey holes for your rabbit to go in case they want to hide out away from, you know, from guests. Yeah, you know, and you're telling people to keep an eye on pets during barbecues because some items can be very harmful to animals. You talked about fireworks, but what types of food should uh, owners be careful for when it comes to their pets? Because sometimes, <laughs> you know, people like to give a little treat here and there. They do. I know that sometimes it's very tempting to give you know little, little table scraps to um, to our dog or a cat. But uh, really, a lot of times these foods are harmful, and especially the fatty foods. Um, foods like um, grapes, raisins, even you know baking yeast and chocolate are bad for dogs, and alcohol and caffeine as well. So if you're going to imbibe and enjoy some you know alcoholic beverages, just make sure they're away from curious noses and snouts of your pets. All right, those are some really helpful reminders and tips, Agnes. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you.